He was. He, he had an OnlyFans subscription. He subscribed he had, right. to OnlyFans. He subscribed, yeah. subscribed to OnlyFans, and she goes, "Oh, you, what's that?" And he goes, "Oh, it's just junk mail." Because you don't want to have the argument. What you do is you lie and you avoid it. Because so now she's like, "I don't. I don't even know how I could trust you from now on." I've said this a hundred times. I'll tell a woman in a minute. I yo, I really love you, but I don't love you more than I love me. If your whole purpose is to just randomly create problems for me because you want it with you want to be a challenge, you can get the fuck out my house. I got a new challenge. It's called the Uber Challenge. <laughs> the Uber Challenge. <laughs> See how quickly you could order Uber and get and the get fuck the out my house. Get your shit and get the fuck out. And he's put himself in a situation where he doesn't know what his value is. So it, this all becomes about her insecurity, and he somehow betrayed her because. He's not doing what she wants. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. I was just doing a, a consultation, and this is again a consultation that I had done years ago. Uh, he's 33, she's 23, so she's probably smoking hot. Early on in the relationship, two months in the relationship, um, she moves into him with him, and she sees that he has, oh, it was an email or something. She asked him, did he have an OnlyFans? Oh, did not that he have an Only? He didn't have an OnlyFans. He was he, he had an OnlyFans subscription. He subscribed he had, right. to OnlyFans. He subscribed, yeah. subscribed to OnlyFans, and she goes, well, well, do you do you? Um, it's a wonderful service, by the way. Good. Uh, thank you for the people at OnlyFans. You really are <laughs> doing God's work. And he goes, well, do you do you watch it? And he goes, sometimes. And he lets it, it, it you know, she kind of, because it's early on in the relationship. I have an OnlyFans, but I look at it every once in a while. But I'm not like a guy who's obsessed with OnlyFans. Right, justification, right. just a lot right. of justification. Even if he, here's the thing, even if he wasn't justifying it, even if he was being 100% honest, it wouldn't matter. She stored that 14 months into the relationships into the relationship something comes up an email comes in about a, a deal uh, like a so you know i i suppose i don't have i don't subscribe to only fans but um hmm. not when you can get it for free on x video um there you go <laughs> but um uh, he got an update from only fans there's only yeah, fans like i guess would i assume it's like patreon they would update you yeah yeah on uh hey i got a new content patreon.com <laughs> slash yeah. man school 202 subscribe like and subscribe. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Y'all want consultations? Hit me at DanteNero.com. Click on consult if you want to consultations from Harry. Go for advice from Harry uh, at gmail.com. Yeah, that's uh, we'll help you out with your relationships and, and like so, and don't forget to hit the bell because when I go live or when we have something or we post a video, you you're the first one that get gets notified about it. Um, but it, it, she, so he got an update. He got an update. She saw that update. he got an email update, which I like that the way OnlyFans, uh, you know, artists, I don't know what you call them, but people artists, who make it OnlyFans artists. are like, hey, I'm dropping a new I'm project. It's me showing my pussy. <laughs> like, yes. like, hey, it comes out this Tuesday. I know you guys have been waiting for my uh, shot of my asshole. Here it is, Please. everybody. Release I'm finger in my gooch on Tuesday the, the 14th. Check it out. Album in stores. So, <laughs> so. Um, so she starts up with this OnlyFans thing again. This is 14, 12 months, 12 months later, 14 months into the relationship. This and he is what goes, I mean oh, by you know, little micro this. drama. We don't so need she this goes, shit. She says, oh, you, what's that? And he goes, oh, it's just junk mail. Right. Mm -hmm. Which is not a lie. But the point was he was, uh, you know, it's 14 months in it. He has a he has an, a vested interest in this relationship. And so he don't want no problems in this. And I've said this a hundred times. 99% of the guys that consult with me, they're liars. And when I say that, I don't say that in, in a malicious way. But there's three types of lies. Let me cover this again because I have to cover it because you guys don't get it. The uh uh and, and women as well. The uh the the first lie is something where you're telling a lie to deceive somebody, to get money, to manipulate them, to get something that you don't deserve. The second lie is because you don't want to you don't want to deal with the confrontation. You know, you say what the truth is. You feel like there'll be a confrontational situation that you'll have to deal with. The third is where you lie because you don't want to hurt somebody's feelings. Um, all three of those are still lies. And what you have to understand is the fact that he, even though he didn't really lie by saying it was junk mail, but in, deep down, the sentiment was that I'm not avoiding doing a anything. confrontation. This is no big thing. It's just, it's just junk mail. So as if as if she was going to go, oh, 
I my bad. Let's move on and be a happy couple. Because but also, ready. sorry, I don't mean to interrupt, but, but also one aspect of it is she didn't just ask that out of nowhere. No, because you got to understand when women ask questions, it's not just a just a legitimate curious question a lot of the no. times or some, uh, you know, when you know the difference instinctually, like, yeah, I know exactly why you're bringing up is the way a police detective is not just, hey, what right. is this? We found this at the crime. Would you know anything you, about this? Where are you coming from? You're yeah. Not, you're fishing. Yeah. yeah. You don't actually you're fishing care. For problem. Yeah. No. Yeah. And, and if you do care, it's because you have something in mind. There's a certain objective that you're trying to. But so you don't she, care for me. You're not asking me legitimately to make conversation. This is, yeah. this is, this is a question you know, like, well, there's no answer here that's going to benefit me. Right. It's going to make right. my day better. And, and, and so he goes, she goes, uh, you know, so they go to a, they go to a museum and there's at this museum they go to, which, which also is a, a sign of the fact that he's a good guy. He's going to some dumb fucking museum exhibit or whatever the fuck. So they go to this museum and this guy was a uh, photographer was, was uh, showcasing naked pictures of his, of his, his girl. Like he took nudes of his girl. Oh, okay. and he, This photographer did. Yeah. So it was like right. a gallery exhibit. Yeah. And so she goes, he goes, man, I, he goes, I, I don't know. That's weird. I mean, I, I wouldn't want, and she goes, so, um, she goes, Oh, you you like looking at tits and ass, but you don't like looking at dicks. And he go, yeah, yeah, like yeah. Would, uh, yeah. yeah, like if I was looking at dicks, I wouldn't want to date you. Like you wouldn't even be here. I'd be with Ralph. I mean, him and I would be at this thing. You know, yeah. it's like it's just. The, but it's this picking about the picking of like how can I have a bug? I'm insecure about my situation here well, she's I, insecure I, about i guess she's insecure about him uh looking at other women and leaving her in some capacity deep yeah down that's inside. exactly yeah. what it is but she won't say that she won't say she may not hey, know that yeah uh, she won't that won't verbalize where if she verbalized that he he might even be able to resolve this it's like this has nothing to do with anything i you know, I, I watch I watch horror films. Doesn't mean I want to chop people up, cut, cut people's heads off, uh, and like it, it's just entertainment. Entertainment pressure. So, um, so ultimately, like you're saying, it is it it what it is. It's an issue of her throwing her emotional insecurities onto you, on him. Yeah, yeah. and that's and, what a lot then, of those little arguments are about. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And then it's and then it's I'm gonna hold you accountable, and because you don't want to have the argument. What you do is you lie and you avoid it. And then it becomes about the fact because so now she's like, I'm uh, she's like, I, I don't know if I could trust you. I don't know if we could. Um, I don't I don't even know how I could trust you from now on because you. So so then she's based she, on what on, on the this is insane. Let me give you the whole yeah. picture. So she's she they're drinking, smoking and she goes you know, I forgive you. I forgive you. And I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, forgive me for what? Right. Yeah. But if he, if she goes, I forgive you, he's like, okay, finally, I'm, I'm out of the problem. She, she's forgiven me. We can move on. Oh no, 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 Mon Sherry. No, it, this is an opportunity. So she wakes up the next morning. She's giving him the, the silent treatment. And she's like, well, you know, I thought about, I was high last night, but I thought about, it, and it really is, it's, I think it's really disrespectful and stuff like this. Um, it, it's like, whereas this is again, when you don't, it never gets better. Like the disrespect never gets better. Does she, w w is she willing to, to submit her, her, uh, her fucking internet history, make sure she's not looking at porn and there's maybe she, she never looks at a guy. She does like, we're supposed to be in this this idea of the fact that we have blinders on, which is really absurd. But it, it goes does she, wear, does, does, wait, does she watch porn herself? Is this something? I mean, so it, this all becomes about her insecurity and he somehow betrayed her because he's not doing what she wants. Go ahead. I'm sorry. If you love what we're doing here, go to patreon.com. It's the best way to support us. 
and check out all the bonus content. That's right. Patreon.com slash Manschool202. We do weekly bonus episodes. We do listener mail, dating tips. And also, if you love the show, you can go back to the archive starting from episode one. All the episodes will be there at Patreon.com slash Manschool202. No, I was going to say, it also becomes about moving the goal line to what benefits them. Because if she was a woman who looked at porn, she wouldn't argue with his porn. Right. But oh, it's she might, of- oh, that's not true, too. She might actually do that as well. Maybe. I mean, how many times have I seen chicks who I've got guys who accused the guy of cheating that wasn't cheating and she was cheating? It, there's, there's no rhyme or reason, but this is an emotionally arbitrary thing. And what we have to do is remove ourselves from it so that we don't we're not looking at the emotion. We're not being moved by the emotion of it. And I, I said, uh, you know, um, so I'm like, well, she's 23 years old. She were. So then I come I, when I as I'm doing this, as this consultation is evolving, she's 23 years old. Does she pay the bill? Oh, it's my house. She lives with me. It's my house. She hurt her foot. She's on disability. She doesn't work. So I'm taking care of her. her. She can't. She's walking around on with a cane right now. She's got no place to go. But even with all of that, even with the fact that he's keeping a roof over her head, he's feeding her, he's taking care of her, he's giving her a place to stay. And I'm not saying that we should ever be someone who who keeps a spreadsheet. But it's in no way or form does this woman have any means to survive, or at least if she does have means to survive, he is giving her a safe haven to stay with. And all she has to do is take some time out to shit on him about an OnlyFans thing that he doesn't even, he says, I, I, I love her. I've never cheated on her. I, I just, I've never cheated on, never wanted to cheat on it. Where he says, we have sex all the time. Sometimes we have sex twice a day, three times a day. He goes, it's, 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 it, it, I don't understand where this comes from. And I said, this comes from the fact that she's testing you and she wants to make sure that you're worthy. And I said to him, you love her. He goes, yes. I go, do you love her more than you love yourself? And he paused. And the minute he paused, my heart dropped. I was like, oh, God. Like, if you have to pause when that that, when that question is asked, all is lost. What you are is you are shoplifting the pussy. You're in the Bentley store with $230. Uh, test driving when you know that you're not you that you don't even belong there. You're with a girl who you don't think is that you're worthy of or is out of your league, and you're just hoping that she doesn't find out that your self esteem is so low that she kicks you to the curb. Mm. And my my advice to him was, you got to go home and break it off. Which, mind you, was the same advice you gave him on the last. Consultation. The last consultation, you oh, had yeah. assessed the whole thing and said, See, I'm, hey, tr- I'm trying to remember it. which one this was because it, I don't. None of that was. That was pre. No, no, was, no. Uh, the, the first relationship was was different than this one. This is the second relationship, but he's put himself in the same position that he's put himself in before, where he doesn't understand what his self his his self worth is. He doesn't understand what, and he's put himself in a situation where he doesn't know what his value is, and then he's hoping that he doesn't find out. And I go, listen, I already know that you're not willing. If you can, you can't say, I, 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 I've said this a hundred times. I'll tell a woman in a minute. I, yo, I really love you, but I don't love you more than I love me. So if you're trying, if your whole purpose is to just, um, you know, randomly create problems for me because you want it with, I E a challenge, you want to be a mm. challenge. You can get the fuck out my house. I said, so the only solution to this is to go I, home. I got a new challenge. It's called the Uber challenge. <laughs> the Uber challenge. <laughs> See how quickly you can order Uber and what get the got, fuck out the, my what's house. What's I've heard of the, the ice water challenge. You got, is there any buckets or ice water involved, Harry? Is there I, any? Mean, I mean, if you want to go to the store, oh, the whole challenge is how quickly can you order Uber and get and the get fuck the out fuck, my house? Get your shit and get the fuck out. First of all, get the fuck out my house. So, um... <laughs> And and I go, I, he goes, well, what is there any way? I go, I don't really know. Is there what he's saying? Is there any way I can handle this? I go, no. I go, you have to. She already doesn't respect you. I the fact that she says, well, she's saying that she can't really trust me. She doesn't know how. She all of those are floating these things to see what your response is. When she goes, when a woman says, 
I don't know if I, how could I, all of these kind of interrogatives, these kind of, I'm floating it out there to see what you think. Your response would be, you're absolutely right. You got to get your shit together. How long are you going to need to get the fuck out of here? Mm. And when you take it there, when you're ready, when you understand what your value is and you're ready to, to move on, you watch and see this. Uh, and then uh, upon further, upon further um, review, review, She's got no place to stay. She's got no family. She's injured. He's sick. She's sick. He's taking care of her. She's, he's keeping the roof over her head. She has no family to go with, no place to go, and no job. So you would think, at the very least, somebody in that situation that is so dependent on somebody would shut the fuck up. But no. It's the no. arrogance of uh, of being a woman in, in that sense because she... Even even if she's not thinking logically, there's always that thing of I do what I want. This is how I want it, and if I don't get what I want, I'll find somebody else. Even if you're in a situation where you you're in a bad situation, you still think like that mentally. Okay. That's your thought process. Is uh, well, I, I it's all about me. I can do whatever I this want. This is how I feel. This is how I feel, and I and don't care how you what feel. The truth is because I feel doesn't matter. I don't have no job. I have nowhere to go. I'm you're keeping a roof over. You can talk all kinds of crazy shit to me. And I and I'm not a person who ever keeps a spreadsheet. I don't keep a spreadsheet with my family, with my friends, but when it becomes so evident that there's an unfair response to this, which is always evident. I mean, we all know what we give and what we give back and what we what we receive and what we don't receive if we if you know that and you're pushing the boundaries then you're you're testing me so if you test me and you 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 I got to show you what I'm made of I I got to look you got to uh, he goes well what if I say that and she responds and says she doesn't want to do that she wants to work it out I go don't believe her you, there's no reason why you should believe her because she could have did that before. She could have resolved this. She could have said, I'm insecure about this. The OnlyFans thing makes me insecure. And I might even go, yeah, I don't, it's not, if it makes you insecure, I, I might even stop. Not likely, but I might not, because I know that it, it, it's not about the OnlyFans. This is about her personal insecurity about herself. And it becomes, then it becomes, you know, like I forgave you yesterday, but you didn't hug me last night. And so now you want to break it up or you want to rub my, you want to, you want to put my, my balls in a ringer because I didn't cuddle with you. Like it just becomes absurd and moves the goalposts every time that you are, that you're not worthy. And I'm, and I need you to prove to me that I'm, that I'm worthy by your actions and no matter what you do. And here's what you need to understand, guys, be clear. It never gets better it only disrespect is not something where somebody disrespect you and then they get into a situation where they go hey um i realized i was disrespecting you sorry about that i'll never let that happen again you just not gonna it's just not gonna happen it'll the, the disrespect will get worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse until she realizes until she has decided that you don't have the value that she thought and she will dump you for the guy the woman falls in love with you for everything that you are she spends the rest of the relationship trying to change you into everything that she you're not if she succeeds she will dump you for a guy who was who you were in the first place and so this guy is in a constant decline. Her respect for him is in a constant decline. And when it reaches the point where she's satisfied that he has no more value or that her value exceeds his in a way that he's not important, goodbye, see you. She'll either fuck some other dude or she'll disrespect you to the point where you got you got to go, enough is enough. It's women who want the challenge. Women want you to fight back. That's what it is. And it's amazing to see somebody, Whitney Cummins, who's like a 40-year-old, never and never once asked, uh, you know, like when you go, y'all want a Mercedes Benz, right? Like, so my dream car is a G-Wagon, right? But I'm going to ask mechanics, what is the upkeep for a G-Wagon? What can I do? How much is it? Like, I'm, I want to know, because I want to know that I could, 
I could, you know, it's just like getting a dog. If I get a dog and I get a Dalmatian that needs to be run, that he needs to run in the park twice a twice a day, then maybe I'll get a bulldog that sits around and farts and and that farts and lays around. You know, I had a friend of mine with a bulldog. He would walk 15 feet out of the out of the apartment, take a shit, and then walk back. So, that was his day. So, yeah, that was what? that was his whole day. That, that was his day. I'm going back to fart and and eat uh and eat Reese's pieces. But but if you get you know this 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 level of entitlement that you don't even have to know what I like, you don't even have to take into consideration what makes what's important to me and how I'm what makes me happy. Um, don't forget to like follow. Subscribe uh, to all the platforms, Man School 202, Real Man School, all kinds. You can Google it, uh, consultations.tanary.com. Click on consult, Harry, uh, advice from Harry at gmail.com. You can hit him up and y'all can, we can help you out, whatever. And dudes, when you do the consultations, please don't do a, do a consultation and then just and then disappear for two. Because you're fucking up. Then you're going to call me when the, when the car is hanging off the cliff. Lift. and then we, we it, it's always much more painful you know um before the cancer is spreading people i'm not an alpha male i'm not a beta male either i'm just a better man better man well, put your happiness first because if you don't they won't